Hello my angry nerds, this is Fanboy and welcome to your daily dose of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void Ladder Edition. This ladder game is going to be between these two fine folks. You have Crank in the top right-ish side and his opponent today is going to be Barcode. This is a PvP. Um, what I know of this game, uh, they have played each other in the past, and Crank knows who he is, but I have no idea who this barcode player is. He never mentions his name, he never drops any type of reference in the game, so that's a thing. But, uh, I did contact Crank through, uh, his Twitch channel and through a good friend of mine, uh, Falcon Paladin. Falcon had gotten a hold of him and Crank had sent him quite a few replays and I asked if he would share his replay or some of his replays and Falcon's like yeah sure um, and he messaged Crank and Crank was like well now that I know you exist um, when I pull some more replays I'll send you some as well so I just want to thank Crank and also Falcon Paladin I will list both of their channels uh, Crank has a YouTube and a Twitch channel uh, Falcon has both as well but he's mostly active on his uh, YouTube channel why I could not say YouTube right then there I have no idea but let's get into this game this game is going pretty standard there's crank is getting the second gas our bow card our bow card our barcode player already has both of his gases and ex and is expanding so is crank uh they're well i mean their expansions are a little off uh cranks is just now getting done and so is uh our barcode. Oh, there it is. I was wondering where it was. It, like, disappeared on the, uh, uh, production tab for a second. I don't know. Don't ask me. Uh, Crank is getting a Mothership Core, and that's very standard. Uh, does only have one gateway still, and is getting Cybernetics Core. So, this game is gonna be somewhat of a long game. You have an Adept moving in for Crank, into barcode space. Let's see how much damage he can get done with this guy. Uh, he should get at least one. Uh, yeah, he gets one kill. But there's another adept here. He only gets one kill, but he gets quite a bit of scouting off. And he also makes the mothership court use some of some of its energy. Uh. Our barcode player is going has already has already has two gateways and is now getting a robo facility. Crank is getting a robo facility and a forge pretty dang early. Uh, and is now just adding on two more gateways. So yeah. Uh, this both of these robo facilities for each player is going to be for observers and Immortals and probably a war present, possibly. I know Crank does like his war present. Oh, and he also does play random while he ladders. So I have, he sent me uh, games where he's, it's a mirror matchup. So he'll be, like in this game, he's a Protoss versus a Protoss. Uh, one of his games is a Zerg versus Zerg, and another one is a Terran versus Terran. So it'll be very interesting watching those games and seeing how he works all three races into his into his advantage. So all three gases are taken for Crank, and I'm pretty sure all three gases are taken for our barcode player. Not much has happened so far. I mean, they're pretty much just trying to get three bases down, and it looks like our Barco player is going to drop his 
uh, third nexus has a couple units, three stalkers, two sentries, an adept, and a immortal, and just warped in a another sentry, and is getting upgrades. So upgrades right now they're all, I think they're both sitting at zero zero. Yep, they're sitting at both zero zero, but cranks. Uh, is going to get done with his upgrades just a tad earlier because he did have a forge earlier and it looks like he's also uh, getting speed for zealots even though he has no zealots on the map at the moment um, I'm assuming he's going to go semi heavy zealot production here shortly most likely Oh my, that's a lot of pylons at the front base. Basically, what our barcode player is doing is if Crank attacks him into his third, he can very easily photon overcharge all of these pylons, allowing a hell of a lot more DPS coming out of possibly a smaller army to Crank's. Right now, if we look at workers and army supply, army supply crank is up by about 10, roughly, but our barcode player is absolutely kicking him on probe production. I mean, it's 67 to 47. I mean, that's, that's, I mean, that's literally nowhere close to being even. But Crank does have his third, oh, finally. Uh, the reason why I think our barcode player has more pros is because his third was down a lot quicker. But it also does look like Crank is moving out onto the map. And that is a lot of Zealots, as I thought. So, the Zealots do have speed, and there is a... Basically, it's a... There's another one. It's a uh, hallucinated phoenix. But, uh, our barcode player does have a disruptor. And it looks like he's getting more disruptors. But, uh, here comes Crank's uh, warp prism right into the melee. He should most likely be trying to warp in units. And there he goes. And this army is just devastating these pylons uh, is now after the mothership core. The mothership core is going to go down. Uh, where? What was that? I don't know how in the world that was that was not an effective anything really. And that is a hallucinated archon. And our barcode player does leave. So that was that was a very interesting match. And what I want to do is I want to back up to when Crank does attack. And there we go. Uh, most of you guys have told me that do not be afraid to back up and uh, look at this fight again. And that's what I am doing. I want to see exactly what went wrong for our barcode player. Our barcode player has he has a smaller army but he has defender's advantage he has a bunch of pylons that he can uh, photon overcharge I don't think he uses this disruptor very much at all uh, here comes all those elves all those elves are very 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 much right into the main and I what I think is making the big difference are these zealots. These zealots do have speed. They don't allow the first disruptor to come really into play. And this hallucinated archon I think is quite funny. But uh, yeah, I just don't think our bar cup player really even had a chance because of all of Crank's zealots. That was a lot of zealots. And he still has his warp prism. His warp prism still intact. So, yeah. 
he did have Crank did have a uh, Templar archives that I completely and utterly missed. That's how he got uh, Archons, but he doesn't have Storm, so he was just using it for Archons. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. If you did, please, 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 please leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more daily StarCraft from me, please hit my subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. Uh, I will have more Crank games on their way. I also have Plex replays and a couple other people's replays that are Grandmaster or Masters. So, yeah. So, stay tuned. And I will see you guys in the next cast.